Michael, can I talk to you for a second? Got all the seconds in the world, Amanda. I'm in love. Yeah, about that. I'm not really good at softening harsh news, but I'm gonna try my best. Peyton hates everything about you. That was softening it? I did put my hand on your shoulder, and I left out the part how she's really in love with J. Ray May and is only using you. Peyton is not using me. Michael Davies. Oh, hi, Schmoopy. <laughs> it's not May Day Raids, J. Ray May. And I think his favorite color's red. Happy dress shopping. She's so in love with me that she wants to be color coordinated for my interview. Good day, Miss Pierce. I am sorry, Master Wilder. Can you find it in your heart to take me back as your student? We shall see if you're worthy. Quickly as you can, snatch the pebble up. Hey, he didn't let me finish. Please teach me. My article on serving depends on it. I shall teach you, but only under one condition. That I open my mind to the oneness of Trey Enlightenment? No, that you give me the pebble back. It's my fate. Thank you, Master Wilder. So much harder than... Rice! Oh. Oh. Ha, gotcha! <laughs> Old school. Pasquale's Pig Hut, your pulled pork sandwiches can never be pulled away from me. <laughs> Mr. Shepard. Until now. Uh, what's up, Noah? I have some terrible news. DJ's parakeet is, is gone. That's horrible. Dreadful. They forgot my coleslaw. I, sorry, I didn't realize that DJ even had a parakeet. I, I wonder what happened. All I know is that it involved a defective birdcage and a three-legged cat named Twinkle. No, 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 to the coleslaw. I mean, this is the second time they forgot it this week. Look, DJ's upset, and I thought it'd be nice if, if you sent her some flowers. You know, that, that's a great idea. Which is why I already arranged for the flowers and all you have to do is sign the card. Wow, if only you were this quick on the draw with your homework assignments, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, what was the parakeet's name? Sweet Lips. <laughs> it, was, it was a really good whistler. Okay, uh, in loving memory of Sweet Lips. I'd go with thinking of you and your Sweet Lips. Yes, nice. That's why you're the writer. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, what are you doing? Come on. What do you want your sympathy card to smell like? Loser or pulled pork? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to be here with me. I know your schedule is really busy. No problem. I'm happy to be here. So tell us a little Hello, bit about- Hello, Jay Finally, you got his name right. You're so sweet. Aww. Aww. <laughs> so did you enjoy serving? Is it true that your favorite color is red? <laughs> what do you think about my dress? Michael, open your eyes. <laughs> the power to defeat your foe lies within you. It is in here. Or is it here? Or is it in here? It, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> Walter's right. It is in me. I'll be Peyton at her own game. You and your little foo-foo red dress are going down. For the last time, Mom, I'm not interested in Percival. Even if he parted his hair to the side, lost the ant farm, and added an extra wheel to his bike. He did all of that? <laughs> That's so sweet. Mom, I'm gonna call you right back. Well, 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 look who's changed their mind. Listen, ma'am, they're not from me. I'm just gonna put these down, nice and gentle, see? And I'm gonna back out slowly, so no one has to get hurt. <laughs> Looks like your secret admirer struck again. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Thinking of you and your sweet lips, Andrew. <laughs> um, Noah, you can go now. No, no, I really should finish up. Now it's time to find a vase for these beautiful flowers. <laughs> wow, 
people actually do do that when they're happy. <laughs> I said do do. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Jade, tell us more about Surf School Musical. Do you get to see you surf again? Oh, I just love the way you surf. One question at a time, sweetums. Thanks, I just love surfing for all my fans. You have such electrifying eyes. That's more of a statement than a question, really. Back to the movie. Jay, tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, well, it's a romantic comedy it's set in the hills of... Hello. Go on, you were saying? Yes, you were saying? I play the surfer who... I love your hair, it's so messy and cute. I know, I love my hair too. What are you doing? Yeah, reporter in the middle of an interview here. Do you know that you have the most electrifying eyes? I think his eyes are electrifying. You stole my adjective. Stay away from him, he's mine. Uh, no, he's not, he's mine. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. I thought Michael was yours. Yeah, I thought I was yours. Michael. <laughs> Amateur. Michael Davies reporting live for Teen Buzz magazine. With a broken heart. Ooh, I love when a plan comes together. And just in time for the game. <laughs> Mr. Shepard, what are you doing here? Losing a pet can be a very traumatic experience. I thought DJ might want to talk about it. No, no. <laughs> she's so traumatized that she's blocked out everything. Andrew, thank you for the flowers. They were so sweet. Well, it was the right thing to do. Oh, wow. Well, what was that for? Because that was the right thing to do. I love you, Andrew Shepard. I love you too. I always have. I was just too afraid to say so. Hey, nobody loves anyone. Marry me, DJ. I'll quit my job teaching, we'll rent a mobile home, and we'll drive to Vegas to follow our dreams. That's so romantic. And I can shut down the buzz and we can- Whoa! You're not shutting down the buzz and nobody's getting married. This is all my fault. I tricked DJ into thinking that you were her secret admirer, and I tricked Mr. Shepard into thinking that your parakeet died, and... I didn't trick anybody at all. I pretty much caught on the moment you interrupted me during my lunch with that mischievous look in your eyes. <laughs> and I caught on pretty much when... Shepard called me and told me you were up to something. So I guess this means I'm not going to the basketball game tonight? Nope. <laughs> Here you go. Just breathe, young potato bug. Your mind is cluttered. I know. It's cluttered with images of me spilling raspberry explosions, of me fumbling frozen yogurts, and of me dropping a butterscotch surprise. Surprise! You are ready to learn the mantra. Finally! The mantra is, Harry the Hippo has happy feet. Harry the Hippo has happy feet? What does that even mean? Nothing, really. Nothing? I studied your manual, I slipped on skateboards, I wore a blindfold, enjoy your drinks. I jumped on trampolines for you, here you go, sir. I snatched pebbles out of your palm with panther-like reflexes. Bon appetit. And I did all that for nothing? I just served all those tables without a single disaster. Exactly. I was overthinking everything. By getting you all riled up, I broke through and... Got me to think on my feet. Thank you, Master Wilder. I've learned the way of the tray and I have my article. Well, hustle up. We've got tables to serve. <sighs> Our work here is done, Master Harry. <laughs> this is just like the time in third grade when Lawrence Morganston stole my Marsha. Your girlfriend? No. My pencil case. I love that thing. Don't look now. Hey, Michael. I'm sorry. You're a nice guy. But it's J. Ray May. And he's taken me to the Teen On Screen Awards. No hard feelings? Um, waitress, please. Now, 
There's no hard feelings. Best stuff ever. Love is for suckers. <laughs> Definitely not up for one young lady. Jay Ray May dumped his date at the Teen On Screen Awards. We take you to the action now. Take me back, Michael Davies. I can help you through Daniel Radcliffe interview. Wow, you gotta love payback. Actually, for me, not so much. <laughs> we'll say hi to Steve Nash for ya. <laughs> oh, you know the floor in the kitchen? You missed a spot. <laughs> 